This video is part of a series. Complete the previous videos in this playlist before you start this video. The complete playlist information, the material and the code file information is given in the video description below. Now, until here, you can call this as generative AI. Now we will get into an AI agent, a simplest form of an AI agent. We will try to build an AI agent. Now, first of all, what is the need for AI agent? Why can't we simply go ahead with large language model to everything? Like the way I will ask a question and then it will give me an answer. What is the need of AI agent? I'll ask a question like you generate this software. Maybe this large language model will try to give me the code. I can utilize that code. But it's not as simple as that. Standalone LLM, an AI agent, a simplest form of an AI agent. We will try to build an AI agent. Now, first of all, what is the need for AI agent? Why can't we simply go ahead with large language model to everything? Like the way I will ask a question and then it will give me an answer. They cannot do mathematics. Again, large language model is a next word generating engine. So it may not understand mathematics. It cannot search internet. It doesn't have that ability. It cannot give answers related to recent facts. It could not access news data. Standalone LLM is just a next word generating engine. Now we need something called AI agents. AI agents are like software acting like humans. Agents are software programs that are designed to imitate humans. AI agents think, they take a action and then they observe something. Thought followed by action followed by observation. In fact, in our example, we will see these three items kind of coming in a sequential manner. So an AI agent, it will repeat this cycle of, it will repeat, it will do it multiple times. It will repeat this cycle of thinking, acting and observing, repeating until you achieve your goal. AI agent mimic the same process to complete the task effectively. We're going to see an example of it to get an idea. Agents are software programs that interact with the real world other than the LLM training data. They have access to external events. They have access to current data beyond the LLM training data they go beyond whatever LLM has seen. So AI agent says LLM is used for reasoning plus we give some tools. Tools are the ones that will add this magic. So user will input a prompt. Then what this AI agent will do, it will create an action plan based on the user. User has asked this question. I may require these resources. I may require these tools. I will do this first. I will do this next. It will create an action plan. And then we will use tools to execute this action plan. And then we get the final output. So AI agents are LLM reasoning plus tools. Agent receives the natural language as the input. It employs LLM to process the input, create an action plan and give us the output. So the some of the examples of the tools are Google search tool, Wikipedia tool to get the Wikipedia data, calculator tool to do the mathematics, Python REPL tool to run the Python code to generate the Python code to execute code related tasks. But we need to be a little careful with agents. Agents are quick to build. Easy to use, but what happens is sometimes we may get into some of the loops that will get into infinite iterations. Agents have some issues. You may get inconsistent results. As of now, they are not perfect. Earlier, they were not that good, but nowadays they got much, much better. Agents, earlier they were still like, even now they are at an early development stage. Not yet perfect, but very soon, very soon, they will become very perfect. Let us try building an agent. For example, if I ask large language model a question, it doesn't have the ability to do the internet searching. So what I'll do is I will add a tool called Tavli for internet searching. I can also add Google searching, but this is a free one, Tavli search. So this is a search engine. I will give the search engine capability to large language model. I will try to build this agent. Let us see how does this work. One by one, step by step, we will try. Before even we go to AI agents, I want to really tell you why this AI agent is important. For example, if I say my large language model, is open AI. And then if I ask this question, let's say who is the current president LLM dot invoke LLM dot invoke and try to ask who is the current president of India? Who is the current president of India? And if I ask this question, LLM will try to give me an answer. The current president of India is Ramnath Kovind, but you will be surprised to know why LLM has given that answer. The current president of India is not Ramnath Kovind, Draupadi Murmu. But this large language model that is being used, it doesn't have that information. 
he is the current president of India. But here the answer that we got is Ramnath going. To, we cannot really blame large language model. It has taken this as input and it has started generating the next set of words as output and it has predicted this. For example, if I ask the question that LLM dot invoke, well, let's say who won IPL in 2025, RCB is the winner. It is not possible to predict the winner of IPL 2025 because large language model has been trained maybe 2022 or 2023 data. By that time, there is nothing like IPL 2025. There is no data related to IPL 2025. That is why it is not able to give us the answer that we are looking for. Now what we need to do is we have to create an AI agent. What it will do is we will use this LLM capability. LLM has the brain. LLM has the thinking capability. It has the ability to understand our question but it doesn't have the resource to give us the answer. We have to give search engine resource. Somehow LLM needs to be supplied with this search engine. Then with that agent, it will create a step-by-step -step plan to give us the answer. So what we will do is we will try to give it a tool. So the tool that we will use will be first, we will define the tool. Step one is to define your tool. The tool that we are using is Tally. Tool or tools. You can give multiple tools also. As of now, we will try to give Tavli. So Tavli is an API key that you need to get. So again, these API keys, you may have to spend some time, get all these. Some of them are free. Most of the ones that I try to show, whenever there is a possibility of free API key, I generally suggest that Tavli gives you limited access, limited number of uh, queries that you can make using Tavli. Let us try to get one key from Tavli. I already have one key. We can use that. So the current plan, there is one uh, thousand credits it is giving. So this is the key. Most of the times the APIs will show you the key once and then you have to copy them somewhere. So this is a key which I have already copied. So what I generally do is I'll come here and then Tavli API key. It has to be exactly like that. So I will write OS dot environment and then I would say my Tavli API key you get the Tavli API key so get that grant access then it will toggle here once that is done I will say my tools my tools is equal to list of tools my tool name is Tavli search results I'm making maximum search results maybe four or five let me execute this Tavli to search results not found so I have to load all the important packages. So what I'll do is, as soon as I start AI agents, these are the list of packages, AI agents, load tools, open AI cohere, all of the ones, agent executor, Tavli search results, everything, all the packages that are required I have written. Now this will work, Tavli search results. There is a deprecation warning, but I'll still go ahead with this. It is not an error, it is just a warning. Step one is define your tools and then you go to step two. Sometimes you may have to define the prompt as well. This prompt will work internally and try to tell the agent exactly how it has to think. Sometimes you may have to give this. Otherwise, it will automatically create an actual plan on its own. But let us create, define or import the thinking, step-by-step -step thinking prompt. So if you go to LangChain Hub, on the LangChain Hub, you have this prompt. Let me print that prompt and show you. So this is the action plan that we are giving. This is the plan that we are giving to this agent. Respond to human as a helpful, as helpful as accurately possible. You have access to following tools, the tools, family tool, whatever tools that you have mentioned, they will be mentioned here. This is a variable. Use JSON blob to specify tool providing this one. Valid action, your action followed by you take the question, you have a thought, you do the action and then you make an observation and then repeat it multiple times once you have the final answer and then you give it to the human. So that means you create a thought and then you create an observation, you create an action, do it multiple times. So in fact, when we execute this, you will see what is this thought, what is this action, what is observation that it is trying to make. So what I have done, I have created a tool and then we have given the prompt how it should act internally that we have given. So we are knitting, we are creating, waving our own agent step by step. Now step three, define your, define your LLM. You have multiple large language models and agent. So here my large language model is OpenAI. My agent, there is a function called create structured agent. You give the LLM, 
whatever is the large language model, you give the tools, you give the prompt. So we are saying create a structured agent in that use this LLM open AI. So whenever you're taking all these action plan and all that, use the LLM as open AI and then use the tool tably search. That means internet searching you must do along with. So if I ask you the question next time, who is the current president of India? You must do internet search and give me the answer. And then this is the prompt. You try to follow this action plan that is mentioned in the prompt. Now I am ready to execute this agent. Your uh, step four is agent executor. So I would simply execute this agent. Agent executor is another function. And then after that, I will execute this agent executor. Agent executor is a function. Use my agent, use my tools. Verbose equal to true means whatever is happening in the back end, I want to see it. Otherwise you can say verbose equal to false. And then handling parsing errors equal to true. This is an optional one. I think sometimes it will throw an error that you are trying to do something like a Python execution. You may not want to do it right now. It will try to stop it. So handling parsing errors, if there are any minimal errors, go ahead, handle that. This is an optional one. You can just ignore that. You can just uh, uh, keep it as true. Now agent is not defined. Let's define the agent, then execute it. Now it's time for us to call this agent with the function. So I have created the agent executor. And then who is the current president of India? LLM alone could not answer this. Now let us see the thought followed by action. You see the action here, the thought. I have given the input as who is the current president of India. Then it created a thought. LLM created a thought by looking at my question. LLM created a thought. I need to use tably search results to find the answer to this question. LLM, look at its smartness. Depending on this, depending on the tools, LLM thought that I have to do this. After this thought, it has done an action. What is the action? The action is literally going to tably and then giving this as input. Who is the current president of India? And then it has got some website, rashtrapatibhavan.gov.in, best website it would get. And then it has done an action. It has got the final answer. Action input, the current president of India is Draupati Murmu. Spot on. And then if we ask another question or second question, agent.executor, agent.executor dot invoke who is the IPL 2025 winner. I need to use tably search results, IPL 2025 winner. And then Wikipedia, it went there, Royal Challengers, Bangalore. So it has thought, action, observation, and finally giving you the output. So earlier when LLM was failing, it was not able to access the current events. It was not able to access the internet. Now this agent is working. Let me tell you this perplexity is literally a very big tool which is created around this idea only. It is a large language model plus internet searching. But yes, it is not just a simple plain internet search like tably search that we have done. They have added a lot of other capabilities which will give. So if I ask the question, IPL 2025 winner, it will not only just give one answer, it will try to give everything around that. So perplexity almost prepares a nearly a research report for everything that you are asking for. That is what like it has given all the pictures, it has given the YouTube, it has given several uh, you know resources, and it also gave the final answer that you are looking for. So perplexity is a complex agentic AI system. What we have created is an AI agent, a simple AI agent, which will try to use a tool called Tably Search. Continue with the next video in the playlist. We are covering everything step by step. If you have any questions or the comments, please post them in the comments window below.